Hello everyone and welcome back to 1.17 Survival Let's Play. As you can see in my inventory I have a new item and that is a diamond sword which I got from the two leftovers of diamonds inside the chest up in my starter house. And yep, I think the first thing on our agenda today is to enchant it. And by the way, I did make this on glowy because there's a lot of lag in this area and my screen was glitching and I really did not like it. So I just returned it to normal. So let's just go and grab our lapis and let's see what the enchanting table and the enchanting tree have to offer us today for our diamond sword. So let, let's just enchant it. Please be good. Oh, losing two. I think I might take looting two. Ah, just looting two by itself. No worries, it's fine as I have some enchanted books. Let me see if any of them have sharpness or something. Oh, I actually do have a sharpness 4 book, so I am going to add that to my diamond sword. I can get Death Strider in other ways, so it's okay. Bam, now we have a really, really nice sword. Now, the second thing on my agenda today is to make a map of this area. An updated map, in fact, because our area is flourishing so well. And here is the episode 1 map right here. So I do want to actually make another map. So yeah, let's just make the map. Bam. That is a lot of more buildings in this area. And there is a like a blind spot on the top right. So I do want to quickly just update that spot. Look at how great our area looks. We can see our house as in our starter house and our way up to the mountain. We can also see the actual mountain on this area image we can also see our horse stables our pens for our animals our well our enchanting tree and our mine entrance and also our nether portal so yeah we have two maps and i quickly just locked on this map and today i think we're gonna make a storage and map room so let me quickly go and grab the materials that i will need for this building and i'll be right back Okay, so I grabbed some materials now and I think I want to quickly just feed my dogs. Hello, Rosie and Dandelion. You guys are so, so cute. Oh, hello, goat. I like your fur. It's really white. So let me quickly spot out a spot for me to build this build. Yeah, I think this area, even though the grass looks kind of not really nice, I actually do want to build something here. So I only have a few buildings up here and we've been focusing a lot down there. Okay, so let's just place our dark oak logs in place of these dirt blocks. And I actually did this outline just off camera for a little bit because I was just working out the outline of this building. Um, yeah, let's make it three blocks right here. And let's get rid of this block as well and add our dark oak logs inside this area. Just like so. Now I think we're going to raise these by 5 and the others by 4. Okay, I've done that right now and right now we are going to add our beams. So we're going to beam these up. Going to beam this one up as well. And oh, that's in the wrong spot. One sec. Okay, that's in the wrong spot again. Okay, there we go. Let me quickly break this block and this block and let's fill it in again. Now we're going to add some of our, oh, whoops, that's in the wrong spot. We're going to add some of our deep state stairs and we're going to make a simple A-shaped roof. So this roof is going to look kind of similar to that roof, but it's going to be much more consistent. We're going to use some of our four blocks and our stairs and our slabs. I love deep slate as it's a really really good block to use and let's make this same pass on on every single side. Oh, whoops. Now I did change this to 4 tall as I did make a mistake previously by fixed analysis. Okay. And we're going to add our deep slate stairs all along right here and let's make a very very simple A shaped roof. You guys know how I love making these roofs as they're very, very easy to make. Let's stack this all the way up to the top. And for this side, we're not actually going to be using our slabs because 
I actually prefer to use this. I'm going to put this all the way up to the top and I'm going to have an upside down stair, normal stair facing this way and two bricks slabs. And we're also going to quickly just connect this up to the main building as connections are good, non-connections are not so good. And by the way, I'll be using copper for the roof of this building. So let me go quickly grab some copper. Okay, so I grabbed some copper and you will only need enough to fill in the whole entire roof. And let's just fill in the whole entire roof. Okay, so I've been in the whole entire roof now and let's break all this cobblestone and let's replace it with our walls. I think that today we're going to be using some calcite and some direct walls as I absolutely love these two blocks and they go so well together. Okay, so now we can add some of our spruce blocks at top. Oh, that's in the wrong position. And I'm quickly going to strip these logs and the oak ones as well to make a Victorian styled um, awning bit. Let's do the same on every single side. So oak right here, strip of the spruce in the middle. Now inside here, we're gonna lay it out with some oak stairs to neaten up the roof. We're not going to use the upstairs as I don't want to use the upstairs and I do need some oak planks so let me quickly go and grab some oak planks, there we go. And I do need some more. One sec. Bam. There we go, we've neatened up this area of the roof. So now let's quickly do this area. So, oak stairs, one, two, three, four, five, six, and oak planks, one, two, three. And I don't like this beam being here, so I'm going to remove this beam. Let's make a very, very simple art shape with our spruce variants of the blocks. And let's make a very simple design right here. So let's place our stairs like right here and right here. Let's also grab some of our slabs. There we go. Let's place one right here, one right here. And let's also grab some trap doors. One right here. And we can also add some fences on the sides as well. Now we can fill in all of the windows. There's none on the back though. And we can also add some extra details. So we're gonna add a little bit of a campfire awning right here. Um, I think I'm gonna place them right here at this level. Let's quickly grab our shovel so that I can quickly extinguish them. There we go. And then also grab our spruce trap doors and our spruce fences and make a little bit of an entrance. I love making these as it's so simple and so easy to make. Let's do the same thing on this side. Campfires, extinguish trapdoors and fence. Lovely. Now let's add some of our deep slate slabs and then we'll quickly just get up here. There we go. Let's place it on this side. And this side we can't place it as we have something in the way, but in this side we can actually place it. Oh, whoops. One, two, three. And then let me quickly just break this one as well. Now on this, we're gonna add some extra texture to this. So as we don't actually have a trapdoor variant of this, so we're going to basically be using some of our slabs to make some extra texture. And you guys know how much I love texturing builds as it makes it look much more realistic and much more nicer. Let's also fill in the whole entire floor of our spruce wood planks. We can also add the rest of our lanterns and we can add a cobblestone wall chain and the lantern to add some more lighting to the outside. Let's do this on every single side as well. Cobblestone wall, chain, lantern. Cobblestone wall, chain, lantern. Just like so.
We can also get some of our of our storage inside. So I'm gonna make some, quickly make some chests and some barrels so that we can have some storage inside this building. So after all, this is a storage building after all. So we also need some barrels. Um, is barrels made out of slabs? Nope, it's not actually made out of slabs. Let me see, ah, it sticks, okay. So let's grab some of our barrels. And now let's go into this building and fill it in. So I think, um, where should I put my chests? I don't think that wall right here. I think I should like them facing from this way right here. So I'm gonna leave a space right here. So maybe some chests right next to it. And let's place our barrels in the center, just like so. Let's also grab our chests and place them all the way around. Oh, I need some more chests. Let me go and quickly make some more. We can also make some more barrels. And I think we're also going to add some barrels on these sides as well. And also um, one more wall of barrels right here. One, two, three, four. Now that is a chest wall. We can also add some more storage here in the future, but I don't think we'll need some right now. We can also add a crafting table right here. We place the crafting table. And I think that this area right here is actually going to be the map area of this building, as we won't have too many maps in this world. So let me quickly, I need to break this. And I also need to um, replace it as well. Sorry, glass panes, you're gonna have to go. So I've got some materials right now. So we're gonna add some of our signs right here. We're gonna add the maps on this area. So let's type episode one on this one. And episode nine. And let's just leave this one blank right here. So now let's go and get some of our item frames and our two locked maps. So where is my lever? Um, should be in the other chest. Yep, here's my lever. And let's also make an item frame very quickly. Oh, that's not enough, um, one sec. Oh, I accidentally made a crafting table, my bad. There we go, we've got an item frame. Let's put in some of our all the other stuff. And let's also grab our other map. So this is the recently updated map, as you can see. And this is the very, very old map from episode one. So we grab this item frame and this sign and let's move these over to the new building. Hello doggies. So let's place our item frames right here, our old map and our new map. Wow, that's actually a lot of change from the, since from the last time I actually made a map. So we'll add more maps to this area in the future, but I think that is enough for today. And the last thing I want to add is a path leading to our way down to the farming area and also to our starter house. So we're very simply going to make a very, very simple path. And this is just an outline. It isn't going to be the actual main thing. So yeah, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's video. If you like my content, make sure to like and subscribe. I have a lot of fun making this storage slash map building with you guys. It is a really, really nice building. We also got our sharpness for and looting to saw today, which is incredible. This is our bunny giraffe signing out.